Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this update, we are going to check out internal computer's price chart and see what is happening in the short term. And I am actually going to answer one of you guys' questions in the comment section. But before we get into all that, real quick, we are going to talk a bit about this important tweet from Dominic Williams. And he's basically zooming out and saying, look, this is the direction everything at the moment is moving towards. And it seems like that artificial intelligence is going to take over most of our jobs. Now, in this tweet, he's actually warning that the clock is running out on the way we currently build software and the traditional model, meaning developers writing endless lines of codes and then deploying them on servers and then patching backends, it's not really going to last anymore. And then comes this important line, which says core future tech stack will be self-writing. You see, what he means is that in the future, people are not really going to need to code websites, applications, or maybe services step by step. No, instead, you will just tell an artificial intelligence what you want in plain language, and then artificial intelligence would build it for you, update it, and even maintain it automatically. And when he says no backend login 100 automation for non-technical he's talking about a world where you don't really even need to touch aws dashboards or databases or server configs the ai does all of that behind the scenes for you and imagine for example anybody being able to say i want an online shop and boom the ai will just build an app for you which is secure scalable and also very much user friendly so in this tweet, essentially Dominic is saying that the real revolution is not just artificial intelligence solving math contents or maybe programming puzzles. No, the real revolution is AI itself becoming the builder of applications and software creation will one day become as simple as chatting with an assistant. Now, here is where ICP kind of fits in here. You see, if artificial intelligence is going to write and manage apps automatically, those applications are going to need a place to live. And on traditional cloud like AWS or Google, you are still stuck with centralized choke points and backend logins. On ICP, on the other hand, well, okay, apps can be deployed fully on chain, no servers, no cloud providers, no manual management. And that is exactly the environment Dominic is talking about. He also mentions secure and resilient applications. That's actually one of the ICP's strengths. You see, it is the centralized compute model that makes applications tamper-proof and also censorship-resistant right out of the box and combine that with artificial intelligence automation. And well, you got a system where anybody can build a secure service without knowing how to code. And that is absolutely fantastic. And the no backend login part matches ICP also perfectly. On ICP, you don't really need centralized dashboards. And artificial intelligence could literally deploy a decentralized application directly to ICP, while at the same time, identity, data, and hosting, they all are handled completely on chain. So when Dominic talks about full automation for the non-technical, he's basically talking about having less and less friction when it comes to everyday users building applications and whatever project that is able to achieve that better than the others, I think they will likely end up attracting more and more adoption. Now, let's talk about why all this actually matters. And it's very important to note that this Gemini milestone is showing that artificial intelligence is right now competing with the best human coders in the whole world and solving problems at the ICPC level isn't just only about memorization. No, it is also very much about deep reasoning and abstract problem solving and Gemini, well, it just beautifully pulled it off. And Dominic's main point in this tweet is that the next logical step is going to be even even bigger meaning instead of ai competing with the coders artificial intelligence is just simply going to replace the need for coders altogether in certain contexts and we are talking about for example ai automatically generating maybe deploying and even potentially maintaining the entire system without human engineering doing the most important jobs now here is where icp really actually comes into the picture in here you see most blockchains today only are able to handle smart contracts 
they simply cannot support full scale applications, let alone full web services. ICP, however, is a bit different. It was since day one built to run entire stacks on chain, websites, backends, databases, services, you name it all, ICP is able to support all that good stuff. And all of that is going to be decentralized and also tamper proof at the same time. So if you are moving into a world where artificial intelligence can spin up applications on demand, ICP in my view is going to be one of the very few platforms that can actually host those applications natively without relying on big tech cloud providers. And that means no centralized gatekeepers, no server logins, no single point of failure, which is huge. And to put it simply, if artificial intelligence is going to write the apps, ICP can be an absolutely ideal place for those apps to safely go live. So in short, Dominic is saying that the clock is ticking, AI is about to change how software is built, and when it does, you will need an infrastructure that can run these AI generated services safely and without middlemen, and that's again exactly the gap that internet computer was designed to fill. So fundamental wise, I think we are definitely in the right direction. And you want to know that ICP is not really the only project working in this area. No, you also have lovable, maybe base 44, which I'm sure you are seeing a lot of ads about it on YouTube. And again, this in my view does actually show that ICP is on the right direction because if they were the only project in the whole crypto and also to go after AI building the whole application, well, okay, that could have been like a major, major red flag for us. Why? Because if there is money to be made in an area, everybody is going to go after it, not just one person or maybe one company. So the fact that there is competition definitely shows there is some good money to be made in this whole field. And based on what I'm seeing, I do think ICP is going to attract a decent amount of adoption. Not all of them, that's a bit unrealistic, but definitely some, and even that some amount of adoption is going to lead to some good price appreciations for the token in the mid to long term. So overall, I still believe despite the fact that the price is going down, we are absolutely still on the right direction, and there isn't really a whole lot to be worried about. Now, let's go on the live chart and see what is going on in a very, very short term. You see, if you remember, the last time that we talked about ICP, I think we were right around these areas and the idea was that our move up can continue a bit more, but at the same time, we need to be still a bit more patient and careful and watch the moves on the upside that we are going to have very, very closely. If they're going to have certain characteristics, maybe, maybe the bottom is going to be in. However, we said at that moment that it's not really going to be our primary scenario. So what happened? We did go up, but I'm not really sure if this is what we want to see. Why is that? You see, let's just zoom in more. Okay. Here's a question for you. How exactly are you able to find from this low to about this high a 5A on the upside? In my view, finding it is very challenging and there's actually a good chance that this is an A correction for wave b and a one two three four five very clear one into c and that my friends unfortunately opens the door to having a wxy structure since this initial bounce off of the lowest low in internet computer can be also another a let's say maybe like a triangle into wave b and another move up into c excuse me let's just do this there we go and well our correction can be for example so far to about the highs a w x y in form of a double six the point that i'm trying to make is this at the moment at least i'm not still seeing some optimistic signs in icp suggesting the bottom is it now what is it that i need to see in order for me to be bullish with a bit more confidence i think you know it i want to see off of the lowest slope a one two three four five eight on the upside now, this specific structure is called an impulse. Rules for it are we should not have overlapping of the waves between wave 4 and 2 and in any kind of Y wave, wave 3 is not allowed to be the smallest wave. These are the characteristics of an impulsive movement. Now, sometimes, well, the world is not that perfect and you may end up getting something called 
and expanding leading diagonal, which looks like this. This is our initial move up into 1, correction for 2, decent move up into wave 3, which is going to be bigger than 1, correction for 4, it has to be bigger than wave 2, and unlike an impulse, in here we must actually have overlapping of the waves between our corrective movements, and this is our final move up into wave 5, which has to be the biggest wave in this structure. Now, let's go on the left chart. Okay, so here's the thing. I believe we can all safely assume that this is the smallest wave, this phase is bigger than this one, and this is absolutely bigger than this thing. Now, in here, between this move down and also this one, as you can see, yep, we absolutely are able to find overlapping of the wave. So, can we argue that maybe instead of a correction up, we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave in form of potentially an expanding leading diagonal? Well, here's the situation. If you want to look at this structure from like a zoom out point of view, maybe you are able to argue that. However, in my opinion, we should zoom in a bit more and pay attention to the subwaves. If you are able to find into your wave 5, 3, and 1, 5 waves on the upside, fair enough. Maybe this is an expanding leading deck. However, like I told you earlier, I think there's a very high chance we are having in here just an ABC and not a 5 wave, maybe sort of kind of confirming, you know what, this is a bit of a bearish scenario suggesting that after this phase up is over in ICP, we are going to have maybe yet another move on the downside. Now, I want to be very clear, this doesn't really mean for somebody that doesn't have any ICP in their portfolio that they should wait a bit more for the last dip. No, we may not even get this thing right in here, so here is what I have to say. If you want to buy internet computers token for the mid to long term, I think generally these areas, since they are around the lows, makes perfect sense to buy, okay? Let's not really wait for the last dip, because getting it or not, that is still, to this point, a little bit of for the base. In an ideal scenario, absolutely, I do want to see another move down in internet computer, since this is a very, very important weekly support area between 3.9 to about 3.92 dollars. And right in here, I'm not really able to identify a whole lot of strong supports. So, again, since not a whole lot is happening in this region, makes sense to say our move down in internet computer is going to continue a bit. But, you know, maybe I'm going to be wrong. And at the end of the day, maybe this is going to be our final low. Now, this is the last part of the video. One of you guys in the comment section of the previous video said that basically in the last six months, I was constantly saying that, look, I am actually very much bullish in ICP. Well, here's the situation. I am still very much bullish in ICP, but I get your point. And here is why I have been constantly saying that this chart looks very much optimistic. Let's just do this, stretch this one a bit more so you can see the candles a bit better. So, where is six months ago? Let's just take this thing and measure 180 days. It is right around the low. So, as you can see, basically in the past six months, we have been consolidating and not a whole lot in this area was happening in order for me to all of a sudden flip bullish or maybe bearish. Now, Overall, I saw this structure as a beautiful buy opportunity, and even with the recent phases on the downside, I still stand by that. You see, in the midterm, I fully believe that in ICP, we are having either 5 wave up into a wave 1, correction for wave 2, and well, 6, you know the answer, big move up into wave 3, 4, 5, or if you want to be a bit pessimistic, you can say, well, okay, maybe this is going to be 5 wave up into an a leg correction for wave b and according to this scenario what's next you know the answer once more another move on the upside into our c leg as long as this scenario is not invalidated i am going to stick with my bullish thesis suggesting by the end of this cycle in the midterm let's say in the next maybe six months to about a year in icp we are going to have a beautiful bull run and the bare minimum target for this phase up into this supposedly wave c is going to be taking the highest high about 20.7 dollars but i think we are probably going to 
go quite a bit higher than that maybe even somewhere around let's say 28 to about 35 dollars is going to be a better target meaning what from the current point we can expect about a seven to even if you are lucky 900 percent move on the upside so let me ask you this what's there to not be bullish on internet computers chart you tell me why you are bearish and okay fair enough we are going to talk about it in the next update and i'm going to tell you whether i agree with your opinion and if you know something that we don't definitely share them in the comment section i will definitely react to it in the next update so overall we are looking great let's not worry about anything but you know having said that in the short term we are not at least right now seeing some strong optimistic signs so you know maybe maybe after another short term bounce we should expect yet another very very small move down and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in icp anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent ta in order to be able to make good money in the market you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next update i hope you have a wonderful time goodbye